In this lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, slaughtered by Pantera. What's going on? Welcome to Behold into the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Let's get right into this one. We are in E, standard tuning. So grab your axe, tune up, and let's do this. And if you'd like to get the most out of this video, check out the Patreon page. We have interactive bass tabs. We have covers synced with the tab. We have custom helix patches. Check it out. Here's riff number one. So we <laughs> we come in swinging. We have uh, alternate picking. We have a group of four and then two more. So six total. Then it's a slide from the first fret up to the fourth fret on the third string. Fourth fret on the low string. First fret on the low string. So it's like one to four, four to one. So far. The riff ends with uh, four open chugs and then a first fret. When the riff repeats, we're going to go from the same chug, same everything, except uh, we're going from one to three and three to one. Here it is, back to back. Here it is, up to speed. Such a great riff to start the song. Here's riff number two. <laughs> so very cool, nice and sludgy. So we start with the same group of six alternate picking. Then we're going from one to five up on the low string. Three to six on the low string. Then four to seven. So far. And then it's four one. So the tricky part is the timing on these slides. So when we play the first note before sliding up, we got to give it some room to like ring out. So on the first fret to the fifth fret, it goes. And then we kind of just slide down to the third string or the third fret. And then we play third fret, let it breathe a little bit. So here it is up to full speed. So really important to let each one of those notes ring out to really articulate them. And it really creates a sense of movement and extra like rhythmic character to it. Makes it even sludgier. Such an awesome riff. Here's riff number three. So this is essentially a variation on riff number one. We are chugging on the low string fourth fret. Then we're sliding up to the seventh fret. Seventh fret, third string. Then it's seven low string, five, four. So, so far. Then it's four chugs down to the third fret. Then it's four chugs and then another fourth fret. So, so far. Second time we play it, it's essentially the same, except we are going 
sliding up to the sixth fret on the third string, sixth fret on the low string. So it's. And here it is up to speed. It ends four, slide down to one, and we go into riff number four. Before we get into the next riff, I'd just like to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world and makes all these lessons happen and all these tabs possible. Thank you so much. Here's riff number four. We really speed things up here. So we have four groups of four, all on the open string. And it's really important to subdivide them when we get up to speed so you don't lose track. Then it goes open three, back and forth, and it's really syncopated. So it's So everything is evenly spaced, but we hold out that last third fret for just a little bit longer goes. Here it is up to speed. It's just so much fun to play. So here's riff number five. So such a cool riff. We go into a halftime feel and it's in groups of three. So we want to keep that kind of group of three feeling going through through this riff. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Last one, we got a very cool syncopation. Um, it's like a quick open low string chug and then a power chord, first fret, third string, third fret, second string. So when the riff repeats, we start off with those open string chug. The next measure, we start with a slide from two up to six, then go back to the chugs. The next phrase is one chug, slide, back to the chugs. The next one is the same, except we're adding those syncopated power chords. Here's the second half, nice and slow. And here's that second half up to speed. Very cool and really sets up the next riff. Here's riff number six. <laughs> so there is a lot going on in here and a lot to sort out. The overall feel is in like a group of six, uh, like this. So there's going to be a lot of open chugs, and then we're going to play a note on the third string, back to the low string, third string, back, and keeps going back and forth. So it's like, all right, third string, it goes three, four, then two, three, with the low strings in between. Okay. Then it goes open, open, first fret, low string, open. 
And that's where we set up that syncopation. So far. From there it goes two, three, like the two, three pattern we just said. And then one open setting up the new kind of revolution of the, of the riff. So, so far. All right, then it, it starts the same with that three, four pattern. Two, three. And it ends with this really quick, like speed burst of four notes. And then that syncopated power chord thing from before. All right, so there is a lot going on. Here it is slowly, and then I'll play it up to speed. <laughs> this is such a gnarly riff. So much fun to play, and really the the key is 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 the feel that, and then to get it up to speed, it's just so cool. <laughs>